When life feels uncertain and challenges arise, turning to God for protection brings comfort and strength. The world is filled with uncertainties and sometimes fear can creep in, making you feel vulnerable and overwhelmed. But you are not alone. God is your refuge and your fortress, a present help in trouble. As you seek his protection, remember the promises found in the scriptures that assure you of his constant care and watchfulness. Psalm 91 reminds you that those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This is a promise of safety and security no matter what comes your way. Psalm 46 verse 1 tells you that God is your refuge and strength, always ready to help you in difficult times. In a world that often feels chaotic, take heart in knowing that God's protection surrounds you, shielding you from harm and guarding your steps. As you prepare to pray for protection, trust in God's power and love to guard your heart, mind and spirit. In this prayer, I ask God to cover you with his wings, to be your shield and to keep you safe from all harm. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I enter the throne of grace today with a heart full of faith and trust, seeking God's divine protection for you. As I lift up this prayer, I stand on the promises found in the book of Psalms, believing that God's word is a powerful shield and refuge in times of need. I ask that God envelopes you in his protection, ensuring that you are safe from all forms of danger and harm. Psalm 91 verses 1 to 2 assures us that whoever dwells in the sacred place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and whom I trust. I pray that you will find refuge and comfort in God's presence. May you dwell securely under God's protection, resting peacefully in the shadow of the Almighty. May God be your fortress, defending you from every threat and danger that may come your way. Psalm 23 verse 4 comforts us with a promise. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me, your road and your staff, they comfort me. I pray that as you navigate through life's challenges and uncertain tears, you feel God's comforting presence beside you. May his road and his staff guard and protect you, ensuring that you are safe from any harm or evil that may seek to come against you. Psalm 121 verses 7 to 8 declares, The Lord will keep you from all harm and will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. I ask that God keeps you from all forms of harm guarding your life in every moment. May God's watchful eye be upon you, protecting you in every endeavor, journey, and activity, both now and always. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 2 states, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, I pray that you hold fast to this truth. Finding strength and refuge in God, even when faced with overwhelming challenges. May God's presence be your constant source of strength, removing all fear and anxiety from your heart. Psalm 27 verse 1 encourages us. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I pray that God illuminates your path and be your stronghold. May you face every situation with courage, knowing that with God as your light and salvation there is nothing to fear psalm 34 verse 7 promises the angel of the lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them i pray that god's angels surround you offering divine protection and deliverance from any danger i pray that may god's angels guard you from all harm ensuring that you are kept safe under your watchful care psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 assures for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways they will lift you up in their hand so that you will not strike your foot against a stone I ask that God commands his angels to watch over you, protecting you from every misstep and accident. May the angels lift you up, guarding and supporting you in all your ways. Psalm 139 verse 5 says, 
you hear me in behind and before and you lay your hand upon me i pray that god's protective hand be upon you surrounding you from all sides may god's presence be a shield ensuring that you are safeguarded from any threats or harm that may seek to come against you psalm 118 verse 6 proclaims the lord is with me i will not be afraid what can mere mortals do to me I pray that you find courage and strength in the knowledge that God is with you. May you be fearless knowing that no matter what challenges or threats arise, God's presence is greater than any power of man. Psalm 61 verse 3 speaks of God's protection. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I pray that you experience God as your strong tower, providing refuge and safety from any adversaries. May God's strength and protection be a fortress around you, ensuring that you are shielded from all forms of danger. Psalm 31 verse 4 encourages us, Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. I pray that you draw strength and courage from your hope in God. May your heart be encouraged and may you find boldness and resilience needed to face any challenges with God's protection surrounding you. Psalm 91 verse 3 promises, Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. I ask that God delivers you from any hidden traps and dangers, protecting you from both visible and unseen threats. May God's salvation be your shield, rescuing you from any peril or danger that may come your way. Psalm 3 verse 3 declares, But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I pray that God becomes a shield around you, guarding you from every attack and danger, both seen and unseen. May God's presence be your glory and strength lifting your head high and filling you with the courage and confidence i thank god for his unfailing love and constant protection knowing that in his care you are safe trust in god's promises for they are your foundation as you go through your day may you remain steadfast in your faith knowing that god is your protector and refuge let god's peace fill your heart calming any anxieties or fears and may you find comfort and safety in the assurance that god's protection is always with you guiding and guarding you every step of the way in the face of challenges may you always remember that god is by your side lifting you up and surrounding you with his love and security i declare over you that the lord our most high god is your refuge and your fortress and through the blood of jesus you are covered and protected from all harm and evil in the name of Jesus as it is written in Psalm 91 verse 1 he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty I declare that you are securely sheltered under the divine protection of God in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus shed on the cross forms a protective barrier around you ensuring that no weapon formed against you shall prosper I declare over you that the promises of Psalm 91 are yours for the the blood of Jesus has sealed your place in the secret place of the Most High in the name of Jesus. You are covered under his wings and the blood of Jesus acts as a shield, protecting you from the snares of the fowler and the deadly pestilence. As Psalm 91 verse 3 declares, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I invoke the blood of Jesus to deliver you from every plot and scheme of the enemy, ensuring that you remain untouched and secure in Jesus. Jesus name I declare over you that the blood of Jesus has broken every chain and removed every barrier that could come between you and God's perfect protection in the name of Jesus I declare over you that the Lord's faithfulness will be your shield and buckler as Psalm 91 verse 4 affirms he shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge his faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler I plead the blood of Jesus over you invoking its power to guard you from all evil and danger in Jesus name the blood of Jesus provides a divine shield deflecting all fiery darts of the enemy and ensuring that no harm comes near you as you dwell in the sacred protection the blood of Jesus serves as a constant reminder of God's commitment to your safety and security Psalm 91 verses 5 to 6 say that you will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. I declare that these fears and threats 
are nullified by the protective power of the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. It covers you completely, rendering every attack powerless and every threat ineffective in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus transforms every potential danger into a testimony of God's faithfulness and protection, ensuring that you are shielded from every conceivable arm in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the blood of Jesus has empowered you to overcome and prevail over every every attack and threat in Jesus name according to Psalm 91 verses 7 to 8 a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand but it shall not come near you only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked I plead the blood of Jesus to ensure that even amidst overwhelming odds and seemingly insurmountable challenges you will remain untouched and safe in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus breaks every curse nullifies every every spell and removes every limitation that the enemy might try to impose upon you in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are walking in divine protection where the blood of Jesus has created a hedge around you that no enemy can breach in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways as Psalm 91 verse 11 declares. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. I plead the blood of Jesus to activate this divine protection, calling forth a legion of angels to surround you, guard you, and guide you in every step you take in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus ensures that these heavenly beings are on a lot, fully engaged in on their mission to protect you from any danger or harm. According to Psalm 91 verses 12 to 13, they shall bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone you shall thread upon the lion and the cobra the young lion and the serpent you shall trample on the foot i declare that the blood of jesus empowers you to overcome every adversary and challenge from the lion to the cobra ensuring that no harm can touch you and no enemy can stand against you in the name of jesus i declare over you that because you have set your love upon the lord God will deliver you and set you on high. As Psalm 91 verses 14 to 15 promises, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. To affirm your place in this divine promise, invoking its power to ensure that you are continually delivered from trouble and honored by God in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is a testament of God's unwavering commitment to you, ensuring that you experience His presence and protection in every situation. I declare that you will call upon the Lord and He will answer you, delivering you from every trouble and setting you on high above every challenge in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord will satisfy you with long life and show you his salvation as Psalm 91 verse 16 says with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation I invoke the blood of Jesus to secure this promise ensuring that you ensure the fullness of life that God intends for you in the name of Jesus I declare over you that the Lord's protection is unyielding and complete empowered and assured through the blood of of Jesus. I plead this precious blood over every aspect of your life, invoking its power to protect, deliver, and bless you abundantly. I pray over your life the covering and protection of the blood of Jesus. Through the precious blood he shed on the cross, I plead the power of the new covenant that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. I declare that you are covered by the Passover blood of the Lamb that caused the destroyer to pass over the Israelites while the firstborn Egyptians were slain. I plead this same Passover protection over you and your household, that no plague or curse shall overtake your dwelling. I decree the mark of Christ and his redemptive blood over your body, soul, and spirit. His precious blood protects your mind from torment, your emotions from rest your purpose from derailment i declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper according to isaiah 54 verse 17 i release the power of revelation 12 verse 11 over your life that you overcome the schemes of darkness by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony 
through the name of Jesus and his shed blood, you have authority to bind, break, and cancel the effects of curses, witchcraft, soul ties, trauma, generational bondages, addiction, affliction, and the demonic sense to harm you in Jesus' name. I declare the voice of Jesus' blood crying out for mercy over your past sins and mistakes. Though your sins were scarlet, you are now white as snow. I speak cleansing into every crevice of pain, regret, and iniquity. The blood of Jesus sets you free through the law of liberty and the law of the Spirit. I call forth warrior angels assigned to guard you on all sides, as Hebrews 1 promises, and not all angels, ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation. I dispatch these angelic warriors now with swords of fire to cut off, shield, and protect you from all demonic assignments launched against your destiny. I speak the power that flows from Gethsemane, drops of blood and sweat that prepared the lamb for final victory over Satan, sin, and death itself. By his agony, your joy is eternal. By his wounds, your healing is secure. I declare every generational curse broken, every bloodline purified, every chain undone by the blood of the everlasting covenant. I speak protection of the crimson flow that purchased your redemption from sins, sickness, poverty, and eternal loss. The blood speaks life, wholeness, deliverance, and abundance over your body, mind, relationships, and purpose. Advance into victorious living, truly free, whom the sun sets free. Through Calvary's veil turn into two. Through Jesus' worthy sacrifice. The death curse is broken, Satan's dominion crushed, sin's consequences are annulled, and a way is made into God's throne room. I declare the blood applied over doorposts of thought, emotion, relationships, purpose, and physical body. No destroyer shall ever overtake your dwelling. You abide now in God's mercy seat of grace himself. Beloved child of God, I call forth divine strategies and insights to advance your life's calling. Like Jehoshaphat, fix overwhelming oppositions. May you hear the Spirit's counsel. Do not fear or be dismayed, for the battle is not yours but God's. Take your position. Stand still and see the victory he gives. Surrounded by angel armies, no weapon formed against you can prosper. I release fresh passion for Jesus and his priorities to fill your inner being. Break agreements made through bitterness, offense, or jealousy, allowing darkness to gain access. Forgive quickly. Guard your heart. Extend mercy as you have received mercy. Walk uprightly in covenant devotion to Christ through purity and obedience. I declare Ephesians 1 over you. That the eyes of your hearts may be enlightened with wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Grasp fully his mighty authority and incomparably great power at work for those who believe. The same strength that raised Jesus from death to life dwells in you through the Spirit. I release 30, 60, 100 fold harvests upon seeds sown in tears and trials. As Gethsemane prepared the way for resurrection life, I declare every disappointment worked for good, every loss restored twofold. What enemy in Intended for evil, God leverages for increase. By the blood that speaks, I call forth a turnaround into an explosive breakthrough. Through the sprinkled blood that speaks better things than Abel's, I declare every court case and legal verdict swung in your favor. As Jezebel schemed against Naboth to unjustly take his vineyard, I cancel such witchcraft plots against your family, finance, and purpose. Justice and vindication are released through eternal blood covenant. I apply the power of Jesus' blood to approve generational patterns keeping you stuck. Poverty, pride, addiction, divorce, abandonment, abuse, intrusive irrational thoughts, or depression. As Joshua declared, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. I break bloodline bondage and set you fully free through the law of liberty in Christ. Beloved, walk forward unashamed and confident in your true identity in Christ, purchased by blood. Wear this armor daily against condemnation or lies shouting unqualified, unloved, unclean. Through the blood of Jesus that speaks, you are qualified, loved unconditionally, made clean. Surge ahead in joy and power of who he made you to be. No weapon formed against your identity can prosper. You have overcome through the blood of the Lamb and word of your testimony, beloved child of the Most High. I call forth divine turnarounds and reversal of curses 
aimed against your destiny. As Balaam sought to curse Israel, yet God turned every curse into blessing, I declare the same over you now. As Balak devised evil plans, may the Lord make all things work together for your good. Surrounded by angel armies, no weapon formed against you can prosper. I release overflowing vindication as your righteousness shines brighter in contrast to wicked plots that seek your downfall. As Jezebel framed innocent Naboth in order to take his vineyard, I declare such witchcraft schemes exposed and overturned. Truth and justice prevail through the eternal government of Christ. No devil in hell shall rob you of divine purpose. I call for immediate assistance from heaven heaven's angel forces against persistent attacks trying to drain strength and still peace allow no foot all to worry dread or offense God taught, forgive quickly and take refuge in the secret place. He shall hide you under his protective wings as you rest near his heartbeat. Fear not, he has already overcome. You will emerge stronger. I release the cup of communion spoken of in 1 Corinthians 11. The blood of Jesus Christ broken for you so that you may be made whole. The blood of the new confidant shed for the forgiveness of of sin so that you may be set free eternally. Partake knowing fully well the power and protection it signifies against all forces set to harm you. Complete work of the cross applied now over your whole being, body, soul, and spirit. I seal this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus through the power of his shed blood that purchased your salvation, deliverance, and eternal security. As a beloved child of God, no one can snatch you from his victorious hand. Angels hearken now to this prayer of faith to defend, protect, and unleash favor wherever you go. I decree that their traps which they have laid will catch up with them instead in Jesus' name. I declare over your life the promises of Psalm 37. That evildoers shall be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord shall inherit the land. I command every enemy that comes against you to stumble and fall, expire and be no more. Just as David prayed boldly in Psalm 57, asking the Almighty to break the teeth of liars and silence the tongue that speaks proud against you. I call forth the armies of heaven to guard you and protect you to lift you up and shield you completely under their wings. I decree that no snare will capture you, no sudden alarm will shake you, says the Lord in Proverbs 3 verses 25 to 26. For he who keeps you will not slumber, he who protects you will not sleep. I command every evil net and every negative word cause sent to entangle your destiny to be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit now in Jesus' name. Just as the snares of the wicked could not prevail against blameless David, whose shield was the Lord God Most High, I declare that no Eden trap or malicious scheme will prosper against you in Jesus' name. For who can harm you when you follow what is good and do the Lord's will? And everyone who exalts themselves against you will be brought low by the power in the name of Jesus. For the salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord who protects them like a shield in time of trouble. I pray that the Lord shall protect you from every evil arrows in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that God will make your righteousness shine like the dawn and your justice like the noonday. Although the wicked secretly shoot their arrows against the blameless to slay them in the darkness, their bows will all be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every lying and devouring tongue targeting you to dry up from the root and wither away. Just as Goliath's threats could not prevail against young David, who came in the name of the Lord God Almighty, I silence and cut off every voice that taunts and intimidates you by demonic threats or false accusations. I decree open disgrace and divine judgment upon all who magnify themselves against you and seek your ruin. I command every proud wave striking against you, Every contrary wind and stormy blast opposing your destiny to be rebuked and laid to rest by the great I am. Just as Jesus said, peace be still. Causing the winds and waves to obey his voice, I declare that all clamoring voices in the realm of the spirit resisting and raging against you shall bow in submission to the commands of the Most High God. For greater is he that is in you than anything in the world trying to destroy you. I speak over that to ends fort. Psalm 118 works for you as you remain surrounded and fortified on all sides, that you may boldly declare, the Lord is for me, I will not fear. What can man do to me? I command all intimidating spirits 
trying to elicit fear and anxiety to tremble and flee away from you now in Jesus' mighty name. As David overcame the lion, the bear and the giant through his great faith in the God who delivers, I release boldness into your spirit and command every inner voice of fear, doubt or intimidation assaulting your mind to be silent. As David encouraged himself in the wilderness, stirred himself up in God and recovered all that was taken, I call forth a tenacious spirit of faith to rise within you, one that pursues, overtakes and recovers all. I declare the steadfast love of the Lord upon you, his mercy and favor to preserve you. Though an army encamp around you, your heart will not fear. Though war rises against you, you will be confident in God, for even stone walls will collapse and weapons formed against you shall fail. No schemes out in darkness shall succeed and every lying tongue condemning you will be shown to be in the wrong again may the words and the spirit behind psalm 118 fortify and protect you on all sides let those who come against you be put to shame but may you never be put to shame let those plotting your downfall turn back in disgrace and emulation but may you be uplifted and established upon the rock christ jesus I declare you are delivered forevermore from the snare of the fowler and deadly pestilence in accordance to Psalm 91. No plague of darkness or calamity of night shall overtake your dwelling. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. Trample the young lion and serpent under your feet. As David prayed in distress and anguish for God not to be far away, I call for divine assistance and heavenly armies to surround and shield you now in Jesus' name. I decree sudden angelic support and divine intervention into your affairs. May God command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. As Elisha prayed for his seven eyes to be opened, releasing God's greater spiritual forces to reveal themselves. I call for lightning flashes of divine insight and spiritual vision to illuminate your path ahead, that you may walk wisely and avoid the snares of darkness seeking to entrap you in Jesus' name. I declare that those who rise against you will fall for your sake, says the Lord in Isaiah 54 verse 15. For who dares accuse you whom the Lord has chosen? I command all tongues, speaking negative words, for false testimonies or malicious lies against you to dry up immediately and receive a burning call of conviction to speak no more deceit. As Mordecai fought the wicked schemes of her man aimed at destroying the innocent, I declare that just as a man was hung on the very gallows built for Mordecai, your enemies and accusers will receive the due rewards for their wickedness, while you shall be uplifted and established on higher ground. For the one who digs a pit will himself fall into, and like Goliath, the one who comes to accuse and terrify you will himself be struck down by the very schemes and weapons aimed at you. As Jezebel's vile threats against Elijah were overturned and in his stead she was seized and trampled underfoot by divine judgment, I decree the same immediate intervention and vindication for you against every corrupt source seeking your downfall. Like a man, may all who pursue bloodshed against your innocent life be precisely targeted by divine justice and recompense. For the Lord loves justice and will not abandon his faithful ones. I release a prophetic decree over your life from the heavenly court and seal it permanently by the blood of Jesus Christ and mighty work of the cross. What God has spoken and proposed for your good cannot be reversed or overturned in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 118 stands as a divine shield and canopy of favor for all your coming and going out, surrounding you on all sides with grace and deliverance from all calamity and snares of darkness. May those who pursue and persecute you be ashamed and disgraced, but may you stand radiant with God's joy and vindication. Let deceivers and accusers bear their own shame while God's righteousness illuminates your life without apology. The Lord himself has become your salvation and sure defense. No one who condemns or contends with you shall prevail. For God is with you to deliver you, says the Lord. 
I seal this prayer over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all God's angels heed this divine commission and surround you as a wall of fire and shield of faith on all sides. Greater is he who is in you than anything in all creation that strives against you. May the Lord bless and protect you always. He will send back every evil arrows aimed to kill you or your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you are not just a good father, but also a great shepherd. And as a great shepherd leads his sheep to peaceful pastures and quiet waters, so will you do to my spirit every time I want to lay down. In you I know that I will find rest, and my spirit will be renewed even as I close my eyes to sleep. Nothing shall take away my sleep and peace of mind. I am safe and secure in your arms. According to the word of Psalm 121 verses 3 to 4, he will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Lord, in the darkest hours of the night, when I am most vulnerable and weak, I am assured that you are always watching over me, staying vigilant so that no harm will come to me. I thank you because you neither slumber nor sleep just to keep me safe. Your word shall never break, neither will you alter that that which has proceeded from your mouth consigning me. According to the word of Psalm 91 verses 1 to 2, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his feathers you will find a refuge. His faithfulness shall be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. Like a protective parent, like a mother hen protecting her chicks, you cover me under your feathers, shielding us from all attacks of the enemy and the terrors of the night. I don't have to be afraid because I am perpetually dwelling in your shadow. According to the word of Psalm 3 verses 5 to 6, I lie down and sleep and I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear though ten thousands assail me on every side. I certainly will not be afraid of tens of thousands of people who gang up against me when I am asleep at night because you, my father, sustain me with your mighty hands. According to the word of Psalm 16 verses 7 to 8, I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. I will keep my eyes on you always because with you at my right hand, I will not be shaken even when I am asleep. Your counsel will remain with me. According to the word of Psalm 139 verses 11 and 12, if I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. Lord, this psalm fills me with the hope and assurance that there's nothing that happens in the dark that you don't know about. So even when the enemy tries to hide in the dark to harm me at night, you see it and you will rescue me. According to the word of Psalm 127 verse 2, In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat as a grand sleep to those who he loves. Lord, toiling and hard work can sometimes hinder me from sleeping, but you have made it clear that those you love, you will certainly grant sleep because I know you love me. Psalm 46 verse 10, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted amongst the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. You have told me to be still and know that you are God. I release my burdens and anxieties to you. Please be exalted above all these and lead me to a peaceful sleep. Psalm 121 verses 5 to 8. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Lord, you have promised to be my shade at my right hand. And I know that both during the day and at night, you are always watching over me. I don't have to be afraid of whatever has been programmed to the moon and to the sun to harm me. 
Psalm 91 verses 14 to 16. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord, I call on you. Please deliver and satisfy my weary soul. Please protect me even as I lay down to sleep. And every time I call upon you, whether during the day or late at night, Lord, please answer me. According to the word of Psalm 62 verses 1 to 2, 5 to 8, truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times. You people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Lord, with you by my side, I know I will find rest for my soul as I close my eyes. Help me to trust in you that you will see me through the night and I will wake up refreshed and restored. All these I have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. No weapon prevails as you abide in the secret place of God's presence and love. I declare the Lord is your light, salvation, and stronghold according to Psalm 27 verse 1. Jesus already purchased victory for you through Calvary's finished works. His death unleashes resurrection, life, and power within. Fear no darkness, because greater is he in you than he that controls the world. Abide in Christ and wield heaven's weapons, mighty to pull down enemy strongholds. You are victorious through intimacy and surrender. I decree angelic shields and barriers secure around you night and day according to Psalm 34 verse 7 and chapter 91 verses 11 to 12. May these war angels prevent all satanic attacks interferences and retaliation according to verse 14 to 16 of Psalm 91. You shall thread upon the lion and adder. All secret plans of the enemy are destroyed. The Holy Spirit leads you far from the schemes of evil, so no harm can befall you. Strong tower protects God's beloved. I command all satanic spirits guarded for assignments of chaos, destruction, accusation, affliction, deception, and death to be bound now, silenced, and rendered impotent under Christ's authority. According to Revelation 12 verses 10 to 11, the Lord will strip dark spirits of weapons, armor, devices, and scrolls prepared against his people. He will escort them to show locked in chains now in the mighty name of Jesus. I call forth divine alertness, discernment, and perception to recognize diabolical setups and weaponized words intended to ensnare your identity and calling according to Psalms 62 verses 2 to 4 and 8. Ask God for insight into people like castrating attacks through cursing, jealousy, and hidden retaliation. Receive wisdom and strategy to terminate schemes at inception so they boomerang against the kingdom of darkness, increasing the influence of God through your life. Beloved saint, you are already clothed in Christ's righteousness as eternal security according to Isaiah 61 verse 10. No false accusation or character assassination prevails when you walk blameless and upright fearing God. Take heart if maligned for his name's sake. All snakes and scorpions turn impotent against true disciples of Jesus according to Luke 10 verse 19. His suffixes are engrafted in you. Righteousness and justice flow through your veins. You represent him now and forever. I decree supernatural reversal manifest against every satanic ambush and conspiracy set to hinder God's anointed according to Isaiah 54 verses 15 and 17. I pray that all sorcery backfires, converting curses into blessing according to Genesis 12 verse 3 and Numbers 23 verse 23. 
receive heavenly strategies, releasing recompense, vindication, restoration, and sevenfold justice against all adversary attacks. Divine turnaround belongs to you, beloved. Stand confident and assured victory comes. Through intimacy and surrender, we access resurrection power that renders enemies defenseless. Drink deep of the infallible spirit of counsel and might. Rise up in ferocious faith, tearing down strongholds and high things, exalting themselves against the true knowledge of God. You shall do valiantly through Christ who strengthens you. I call forth warrior angels to ensure full execution of these prayer decrees now according to Psalm 103 verse 20. And I compel adversary spirits bound for sure to obey in Jesus' name. I pray that Abba Father will surround you with angel armies enforcing protection as decreed under divine counsel in heaven. May all counterattacks, assignments, and weapons dissolve immediately against those hidden in Christ. The Lord will defend and shield you according to the word in Jesus' name. Your authority in prayer avails much through humility and surrender to Christ within you according to James 5 verse 16. Never underestimate the power in binding and losing all weapons of declaration wielded in partnership with the spirit of might. He responds with reinforcement as we cry out to him who is mighty to save. Be strong and courageous. Only stand still and see his victory. I decree a mighty wall of angelic protection fortified around you now so no satanic assault penetrates according to Zechariah 2 verse 5. I pray Yahweh encamps legends as fiery wall and shield against enemy attack or retaliation. He will give his angels charge over all that pertains to you. Trust him to guard your life, family, reputation, health, finance, relationships, ministry, endeavors and emotional stability. In far greater measure than earthly military could provide, may fierce intimidation and accusations dissolve under weight of unfailing love that casts out all torment. Grace triumph over judgments for all Eden in the Most High. Hallelujah! I command spirits of worthlessness, rejection, depression, anger, deception, suicidal thoughts, sickness, confusion, and oppression to lose God's beloved now in Jesus' name. Receive healing streams pouring life and boldness into weary souls according to Ezekiel 47 verses 1 to 12. Break all agreements made with death and false shelter offered through substance abuse, ungodly soul ties, sexual sin or escapism. Receive new wine skins to contain the new wine Holy Spirit pours. Set up stones of remembrance declaring your deliverance this day never to be imprisoned by former mindsets again. Recon yourselves dead to seed and alive to God in Jesus name. Arise and go free in the power and authority Christ purchased. I call forth vindication upon all adversaries who plot and scheme, believing their counsel hidden according to Micah 2 verse 1, Psalm 83 verse 3 and Isaiah 29 verse 15. Reveal the hearts of those cursing, conjuring deception or seeking to entrap your child. May their attacks and hatred turn to favor instead, according to Genesis 50 verse 20. I release those operating under mind control now from ungodly soul ties and generational strongholds in Jesus' name. Receive through healing, deliverance, and restoration. I break deception's veil with kindness, truth, Calvary's true freedom not yet understood in Jesus' powerful name. Though darkness confronts, lift up your gaze higher, beloved. God meets those who endure the crucible of refinement and wait expectantly upon him. He remains a sovereign, discerner of hearts and just judge over all intentions and motives in both earthly and heavenly realms. No accusation prospers before your Father and Redeemer. As you abide patiently under his mighty hand, allowing access to grace, enabling you to stand in goodness and integrity. He will defend and vindicate you in perfect time.
No one can stop his destined will for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. You are already victorious and more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I decree divine intervention to descend and unlock victory against long-standing generational causes of cancer, sickness, incest, early death, addiction, barrenness, poverty, and lack in Jesus' name. I command DNA restored to wholeness through generational lines. Receive fresh fire flowing in your bloodline, awakening and restoring all crooked places from iniquity of forefathers. May your children, grandchildren and extended family receive breakthroughs extending for generations to come. Freedom's fire will be released now according to Galatians 5 verse 1. Inherit blessing prepared for you. I command all legal rights, footholds and access gained through seeing or obedience that keep enemy accusation and attack empowered to now close forever be erased by the blood of jesus receive deep deliverance from defilement deception and corruption according to colossians 1 verse 13 i call forth mighty breakthrough and eternal reward upon your years of unnamed toil and suffering according to psalm 126 and galatians 6 verse 9 and hebrews 12 1 to 3 May generational oppression, lack, sickness, and fruitlessness now dissolve suddenly under an open heaven. Receive acceleration, restoration, and recompense, meeting you at every turn. Whereas you have been forgotten, forsaken, and devalued in your past seasons, now royalty and honor mark your every step through double portion inheritance and overcoming anointing activated this day. Your progress unlocks destinies for multitudes. Emmanuel, God is indeed with you, friend. No longer will you cower under threats of enemy or wince at words of past aggressors. Fear is demolished from your bloodline as lion at Corinth in Christ fuels your every step. With integrity, purpose, and passion arise to call forth life from death and freedom to captive ones still bound. Take your place as kingdom ambassador seated firmly in Christ's authority and worth. We worship and exalt you, Lord, for answering all these prayers in Jesus' name. Therefore, I declare the Lord's verdicts over you according to Psalm 31 that says, Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Today, divine health and wholeness permeates into every cell of your body in the name of Jesus. I command your bones, tissues, organs, and systems to come into alignment with God's original design for you. Receive the Creator's torch over your frame. He formed you wonderfully and knows how to realign anything I miss. I call forth the revival of life to flow through you from head to toe right now. Where there was weakness, catastrophe or deterioration, I declare newness of life by the Holy Spirit. He makes all things new so I say, cells regenerate, inflammation subsides, nerves reconnect and fibers mend under heaven's healing rays. Be made whole. I declare by faith that you are already healed by the stripes Jesus Jesus took upon his back according to 1 Peter 2 verse 24. That includes every emotional, spiritual and physical wound you carry. Christ bore your sickness so you can bear his healing. I call for the manifestation into the nature of what he finished at the cross. Health and wholeness permit you now from crown to soul. I decree the words of Psalm 103 over your life. Who forgives all your iniquity? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit? Who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy? Every condition stemming from generational curses, personal sin, and trauma is cleansed by the blood of Jesus. I declare your body healed and delivered. I command all infections and infirmities to leave your body now in Jesus' name. Receive supernatural antibiotics attacking every virus and harmful bacteria according to Luke 13 verse 12. Crippled hands are released. Restored vision and hearing. Every missing limb will be replaced as you continue to seek the Lord in faith. I call forth divine restoration of robbed health and lost years. 
What the enemy meant to destroy through affliction will become testament of God's goodness. The Lord balances every scale, tilting favor and blessing your way. As with Job, he will bless your latter days even more than your former. Receive abundantly above all that you can ask or imagine. I declare that through faith and patience, you will inherit every promise of God. Do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. Persevere in prayer and stand on his word. Though healing takes time, his spirit brings comfort, hope and strength for the journey. It will bring it to pass right on schedule. I decree divine connections leading you to people to bring breakthroughs, whether supernatural healing or practical help. Through medicine and physicians, receive it. Let no pride or false doctrine block what God wants to do. His methods are infinite. His healing often gradual. Hold fast to his hand through the process. Wellness awaits. I command all genetic weaknesses that empower sickness to bow to the name of Jesus, reversed by his healing blood. Jesus bore our sicknesses and carried our pains so we can walk in divine health and wholeness. By his stripes you will be made whole. Spirit, soul, and body, I call forth inner healing and deliverance from trauma, abuse, loss, and grief that opened us to sickness. Holy Spirit, Take us back to access painful memories this child of God carries. Calm as the comforter, bringing perspective and cleansing. Exchange pain for joy, mourning for gladness. Beloved, see the Lord's goodness in your affliction. He promised to use all things to work together for our good as we submit to his working. What the enemy meant for harm, God turns to holiness as we yield trials to him. Our light afflictions now achieve eternal glory. This test will give tremendous testimony up ahead. Through this sickness and suffering, God develops perseverance, character, and hope in you. You will shine as an overcomer, displaying his victory and faithfulness. The trials of many will be comforted through your journey. His strength is shown perfect through human weakness and need. Ask him for grace to rejoice in this divine process. I declare that nothing separates you from the love of Christ, not even pain and infirmity. According to Romans 8 verses 35 to 39, if he ordains for this thorn to remain, take heart, his power rests upon you. His strength is made perfect in weakness. Ask him for sufficient grace to carry out the cross and sufficient faith to believe still for healing. He is worthy of praise in it all. I decree that those who sow in tears will reap with shouts of joy. Though healing tarries, take heart, dear one. God collects every tear, filling his bottle of remembrance. None fall fruitless to the ground. He will turn weeping into gladness, sickness to health. On that day, none will be able to curse, for he makes all things new. I command every negative word, curse, lie or accusation sent your way to dissolve under the power of God's word and the healing blood of Jesus. Let no word of death take root in your body. Cast down thoughts that exalt themselves above the knowledge of Christ. Stand on his finished walk at the cross with patience and confidence, knowing that he will bring it to pass. I call for a new habitation place for his spirit to dwell. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead comes to fortify your body as a temple of the living God. What was damaged or defiled is fully restored. Receive strength beyond your own to walk out this healing daily through his enabling grace. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. Beloved child of God, behold the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Set your gaze upon the one who heals. The spirit within brings life to your mortal body as a down payment of future glory. Allow his resurrection power to flow freely to every place needing restoration. You shall live and not die. Wellness is here. I declare that you are no longer under the curse of the law, but redeemed to receive Abraham's blessings. Christ has redeemed you from sickness, poverty, spiritual death, and the curse of sin that plagues this fallen world. Receive everlasting life and wholeness in the eternally secured inheritance of God's children. I decree deliverance from spirits of infirmity that empower sickness and disease according to Luke 13 verse 12. Receive freedom in mind and body now from all effects of trauma, substance abuse, and chronic conditions keeping you weighed down this many years. 
what Holy Spirit is reviving cannot be bound up again. I command all negative soul ties, feeding darkness to be severed now by the sword of the Spirit. Receive deep spiritual cleansing as the Holy Ghost fire burns through roots of iniquity passed down generationally. The sins, trauma, and twisted covenants of the fathers and mothers dissolve under the blood of Jesus. You are free. I call for spiritual biomarkers revealing the root causes of symptoms and conditions plaguing you. Holy Spirit, unveil hidden sources feeding this affliction, whether trauma, generational causes, environmental toxins, or lifestyle choices keeping darkness empowered. Grant wisdom and strategies for walking in the grant, wis grant wisdom and strategies for walking in divine health. I declare that death and sickness have lost their sting since Christ conquered sin and the grave. Though this body may waste away, you have an eternal house prepared by God, not built by human hands. His resurrection life lifts you beyond mortal constraints of deterioration, sickness, and aging. I decree that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength as eagles. As you wait on him for healing and breakthrough, equip yourself through studying the healing covenants and promises of God. Read testimonies of saints who persevered by faith and prayer to receive. Ask for fresh fire to stand through every hardship along the way. I command all lingering generational illnesses stemming from familiar spirits to be severed at the roots now by God's healing word. Causes of cancer, disorders, heart diseases, and early death be reversed and lifted by the blood of Jesus Christ. Step into generational blessings of longevity and divine health prepared for you. I call forth hunger in you for Christ, the true bread of life. As you feed deeply on his living word, revelation and intimacy grows with God. Receive fresh perspective, shifting focus from symptoms and limitations onto the healer himself. He sanctifies every struggle using trials to unveil more of his glorious nature. Rest in his abiding presence filling you now. Beloved, though flesh and heart fail, God remains the strength of your heart eternally. When faith or patience runs low, cry out to him for fresh oil to persevere. Worship the healer even from this pit. Allow his spirit to come forth and carry hope, restoring joy and vision bit by bit. He walks divinely through each season when you yield all to him. I declare that those who honor God, he will honor. Humble yourself under his mighty hand and in due time, he will exalt you with wholeness, healing and a new life. Take on the heart of a servant, leading to love, compassion and kindness for others while standing for your healing. This brings breakthrough upon breakthrough. I decree that you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord as Psalm 118 verse 17 declares. Even if he ordains more waiting, know that God holds your life secure in his hands. He remains intimately close as your soul's high tower. Let him hold your heart gently as you wait patiently on his perfect will. I command all delays, setbacks, and hindrances against healing to be removed now in Jesus' mighty name. Whether spirits of affliction, lack of resources, or revelation, I declare the way clear for divine turnaround. As you take steps forward, Lord, meet this child of God with demonstration of your power according to your word. Breakthrough is here now. I call forth lasting freedom from addiction and perversion, opening the door to recurring affliction. Receive merciful release from self-medication, ungodly relational bonds and practices defiling the temple of God's spirit. Trade shame and secrecy for healing as Christ's light permits hidden places of pain. Go and see no more, says the healer who makes all things new. I join you in praise to God, child of God. Rejoice, you are made completely whole. Receive strength in your bones and joy unspeakable shining through each day. Victory, health and favor surround you. Worship the Lord with all that is within you for he has delivered you from the pit and crowned you with loving kindness. Surely his goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. You are healed forevermore. 
Amen. I declare you shall not die but have a long life and see the goodness of the Lord to the very end. I also pray Psalm 91 over you that you who live under the Most High and Almighty's shadow, God alone being your refuge and fortress, will be delivered from the perilous pestilence and deadly plague. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. No evil shall conquer you. No scourge shall overwhelm overwhelm your tent. You shall witness the reward of the wicked and see God's salvation with your very eyes. Beloved child, I declare Isaiah 38 verse 5 over your life, which says, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add 15 years to your life. Receive extension and increase over your days, just as Ezekiah did. When death came knocking prematurely, the Lord shall make the sun's shadow go back ten steps on the stairway of Ahaz. You shall yet praise him with stringed instruments all the days of your life in the temple of the Lord. I call forth Psalm 118 confessing. I shall not die but live and recount the works and wondrous words of God. Death has no claim over you, only life and peace in the spirit. The sting of death is sin, and Christ has conquered both grave and sin, sealing your eternity with his own blood. I declare the preserving power of the blood covenant, ensuring, ensuring no weapon from the gates you prospers, and no plague destroys your dwelling. Beloved child, like Job, I stand in the gap and view the head of protection around you, your household, and all that pertains to you. I forbid any devil, disaster, or disease from crossing that bloodline to touching your body or life before ordained time. I dispatch angels to guard you in all your ways, bearing you up lest you dash your feet against a stone. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit spirit and camp as a wall of fire around you. I speak supernatural reversal and repel of any death sentence or premature end spoken over your life by intention or prophecy, whether by medical verdicts, word curse, spiritual divination, or legal judgments. Like when Mordecai uncovered Haman's sinister plot to annihilate the Jews, I expose the operations of darkness and cancel their contracts. No weapon formed against you shall succeed, and you will nullify every tongue that rises against you in condemnation or cause. For you are a child of the Most High God, brought for a great and glorious purpose. I declare that Jesus came to give you life more abundantly, a rich and satisfying life, pouring out blessings into eternity. The Good Shepherd attends to you through death's darkest valley shadow, his rod and staff driving away all fear and despair. His table of feasts awaits in enemy's presence, his oil of joy refreshing your face. Only goodness and unfailing love pursue you always into his house forevermore. Precious child like Lazarus, even if sickness leads to death, God shall yet have the final word and resurrection power to restore life and earth. Whether by miracle manifestation or through ultimate heavenly healing, deliverance shall belong to you. God shall wipe away every tear and transform ashes back to beauty again. Beloved one, I stand in agreement with the psalmist's confession in 31 verse 15, my times are in your hand. Your days, weeks, and years unfold under his sovereign design. Trust him to complete all he has started within you on this side of heaven. Then welcome you joyfully home when final breath draws near in appointed time. I speak Isaiah 65 verse 20 over your life that at 100 years you shall still bear fruit and prosper under lengthy days. Set your gaze beyond temporal troubles to the unseen eternal weight of glory prepared for you. Allow this magic magnificent hope to renew strength and anchor soul through storms. Nothing passes his sight. Love ever remains working all things for good for those who answer his upward call. I release resurrection life and power over areas of affliction and disease in the mighty name of Jesus. By his stripes you are healed. I forbid this sickness leading to any further foothold of infirmity or untimely death. I declare the preserving work of the great physician who heals all diseases upon you now. In Jesus' name, rise up healed, whole and restored. 
I paralyze the activity of any deceiving spirit impersonating diseased loved ones, appearing to draw your soul out of alignment with truth or lure you into occultic practices outside God's will. I break these deceptions of your life in Jesus' name. May your feet remain steadfast on the rock as you stay rooted in scripture and covenant with Christ alone as intermediary between heaven and those on earth awaiting his return. Beloved child of destiny, I declare the shield and armor of Psalm 5 verse 12 over your life. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as a shield. Set your gaze ahead on the joy set before you to finish your cause and ministry whole and strong. Allow no people, disease, disaster, or spirit of death rob remaining years of experiencing his goodness. Stay vigilant against bitterness as God writes brightest endings born of deep trust and surrender. Yours is the kingdom in all its fullness. Walk boldly into broad places, prepare to drink deeply. Beloved child of promise, I call forth divine turnarounds over medical diagnosis declaring shortened life expectancy or disease progression leading to premature death. Receive grace, mercy, and wisdom for navigating uncharted waters ahead. May faith arise to walk on stormy seas through pain's mystery. Fix eyes on the healer's face. Nothing fails outside his redemptive plans. Where hopeless prognosis looms, God specializes in supernatural intervention, redirecting impossible outcomes. Jesus endured death, marching toward resurrection certainty. So shall you cross into greater glory through momentary light afflictions, preparing an incorruptible crown reserved for those discovering single eye vision witnessed from above. Shake loose all that entangles feet from rolling tirelessly as one raised with Christ. Detach completely from outcomes here. Reattach heart posture unto full obedience. Receive fresh download of kingdom perspectives. I seal this prayer over you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, the resurrection and the life by the power of his blood that has ransomed your life from destruction. I forbid any weapon formed against you to prosper now and all your days ahead. Search forward mightily into all your good father has prepared for you. The enemy will not prevail. You will finish your race strong in the center of God's glorious unfolding story. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.